Is this Harbor Freight soldering iron and this solder any good? You'll just have to find out. Alright, so I wasn't gonna make this video, but some of you guys have been commenting you want to see the repair and honestly what I want to do is I want to kill two birds with one stone. So, so I've been working on the car this morning. I decided, you know what, let me just show everybody where I'm at and what tools I'm going to use to fix it. So when I say I want to kill two birds with one stone, what I want to do is I want to try these tools out. So I went to Harbor Freight. I got some of this rosin core solder. All right, now this is not what I typically use. What I typically use is some 6040 from Radio Shack. So this is 96.4. What I use is 6040. And I got myself this soldering iron from Harbor Freight. I decided, you know what, let's just try it out. A lot of people like Harbor Freight. And I got some free microfiber cloth. Because who doesn't like free shit, right? Let me show you where I'm at as far as uh, the repair goes. I took all these, uh, these little, I don't know what these are called. These little connectors. So basically what, what it has is it has like the teeth where the wire is pretty much um, you basically use these to tee into a, a circuit. So these little chingaderas they go in there and they bite the wire and then on the back of it you stick in your terminal where uh, you can connect to that circuit right. And I covered the holes with liquid electrical tape because I'm going to put all those wires back into the conduit so that it's nice and tight and make it pretty much factory again. Home Depot carries this for like seven or eight bucks. This soldering iron. Matter of fact, here I got the receipt. Let me show you what it is. $3.99. And this is $3.49. So $3.99, $3.49. I spent seven bucks. This I already had from Home Depot. It's like eight bucks. So 15 bucks total for this repair. So let me show you where the repair's at. And uh, let's start soldering. See if it works. All right, so here on the bottom, you can see that I took off all these um, I think they're called splice connectors. So I took off all these splice connectors that were on these wires right here. I took all those off. I'm gonna get rid of them because this car has no alarm. All we have for this car now, we just have the regular key. As far as this wire goes, I took it out of its cavity. So basically how this works. All right, so I took the connector out of this, the MICU, which we were talking about yesterday. This locking tab right here, you can just fold it down and you can access all the wires. Now the way you take it out, is you stick a, I didn't have T-pins or I didn't have the proper tools, so I used a safety pin. You see that? I used a safety pin. I stuck it right here in the connector, and what that does is it, let me see if I can get this closer view for you. It's kind of hard to focus when all this shit's tiny like this. But anyways, I took the T-pin, I stuck it in here, and it has two tabs that lock it into place. What the pin does is it spreads those tabs apart and then you're able to pull this out of its cavity. Right now what I'm doing is I'm going to put this on the wire and I'm just going to drop a little bit of solder on it so that it stays like that. We're going to try out this Harbor Freight soldering gun and the solder and see how good of a job it does. Alright, so let's open up this Harbor Freight soldering iron. 30 watt, 120 volts, so it works with your standard plug, right? I guess that's a downside. Now they have these uh, butane soldering irons that you can use, but this is what Harbor Freight had, and um, let's give it a shot, see how it works. So, open it up. It comes with a little kickstand so that you can lay the iron down under. Item number 69060 for those of you that happen to give a fuck. So, I'm gonna plug this bad boy in, and uh, we're gonna see how long it takes to get warm, see how good it melts the solder. The one thing that I don't like about this is that it only comes with this tip, but I guess for what we're working on, this will work. I'm not tripping. Now this Ross and Core solder. This is item number 68378 for those of you that happen to give off up. Now we're just gonna see how this works, how this looks. Open it up. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I don't know how I'm supposed to, I guess, I can do it this way, right? Drop it back into the chingadera. I don't know. We'll see how this works. I'm gonna use it like this for now. Like that. Can you see that? And then I'll just tap, tap. So the iron's getting hot right now. It's been about, what, I say a minute, minute and a half. I can actually smell it. Oh yeah. 
here. You can see this getting hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some solder on the tip and then I'm gonna just touch it over here to my wire and then I'm gonna drop a little bit of solder and see how good it holds. So that's where we're at. So this is how soldering works. You pretty much want to put the gun or the iron or whatever you're using under the wire to get it nice and hot so that when you touch it with this solder, the solder just melts right on there. And that's all it takes, but we'll see uh, how long this Harbor Freight soldering iron works. See how long it takes. So what I like to do is I just drop a little bit of solder on here and that'll tell me if it's hot enough and it is. So then I just touch it under there. Now this is gonna help it with the heat transfer and then I can just drop a little bit of solder onto the connector. And that actually worked pretty well. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. It's on there pretty damn good. Now I'm just gonna give it a little tug to make sure it doesn't come off. And if it does, then we'll give it another shot. So there you have it guys. I'm actually pretty impressed with how fast this thing got hot and how good of a repair it made. Look, I'm tugging on this. This is not going anywhere. That is a good repair using my Harbor Freight tools. I gotta make sure I put it back in the right cavity. I think if I remember correctly, it was the third one from the right. One, two, three, four. This should just slide in easily. Guys, if you're having trouble putting this in, then I would double check. Don't just force it in there. Make sure everything is clean and nothing's bent, you know? And also, I would also mark the cavity that you took it out of. Because you don't want to put it back in the wrong one and then all this work for nothing. Alright, so I'm going to try to stick this back into cavity number 6. Yeah, it's going in. Now I just got to... There, it's in. This wire is a little bit stretched. I don't like how it is. But... Right now, all I'm worried about is, is it going to make good contact? And we're going to find out. We're just going to lock this back into place. There you go. You got to hear it click. Now that it's clicked in there... And we'll put this back into the fuse box. There you go. And now we just gotta check our reverse lights. If you guys didn't see the previous video, go check it out. All right, so we turn the key on, throw it in reverse. All right. Guys, that's a fix right there. So there it is, homies. Another quick fix, another Harbor Freight tool review. If you guys own this tool or if you guys now are willing to buy it and give it a try and give it the benefit of the doubt, then go ahead and like this video. Give this video a like. Also, if this is your first time checking out this channel, go ahead and subscribe. The subscribe is right here on the bottom right of your screen. Hit that little gear. It'll take you to the subscription page. And drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of Harbor Freight. Let me know if you hate it, love it. Can you live with it? Can you live without it? Because I honestly love it. I mean... For the price that I pay, I paid seven bucks for this soldering gun and the solder. The solder alone will cost me around 10 bucks at Radio Shack. This is worth the price, guys. Now, honestly, the real test is gonna come with time, right? Will this tool withstand the test of time, you know? Will the repair withstand the test of time? Is that actually good solder? We don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Right now, the car's fixed. The backup lights work right so that's it for this one i'm out of here it's about to get dark i don't want to make another video in the dark so peace